Hello everyone, I am Sujit Kumar Gupta of SCI 2015 batch and I am here to discuss Kasna bogey and its POH. Introduction of the Kasna bogey Kasna bogey was first used in Boxen and Boykins and was designed on as Kasna 22W. This was later modified a number of times as per the requirement. So it got a number of variety all with the name as 22W, 22WM, 22NL, 22NLV, etc. POH of Kasna bogey. This is the flow chart of POH of Kasna bogey in Jamalpur workshop. First, all bogey received from WRS1, WRS2, WRS3, WRS4, and WRS5. Then, bogey is placed on the bogey overhauling worker strip. Then a stripping of bolster, breaking beam, a spring and adapter is done. Then the whole bogey is divided into five parts as shown in the chart. And each part is overhauled in different sections simultaneously. We'll see it in detail ahead of the slide. First, a checklist of all parts as shown in the figure is made by inspection section of the workshop. For what is defective, and what is not then accordingly work is done stripping of bogey first bolster is raised to contact top member of side frame then the springs are removed the friction weights are removed the bolster is lowered to rest on the spring plane the bolster is slid to one side and taken out side frame key is taken out to release the wheel set the adapter EM pad is then released. The video shows removing of a spring by hanging Kasna bogey through bolster with the help of EOT crane. The video shows removal, removal of bolster from the side frame assembly. The bolster is hanged by the EOT crane and a man is standing on it to slide it from the side frame. Now the side frame assembly is divided into five parts for its POH. The five parts are following. First, side frame with a spring plank and wedge block, brake beam system, bolster, a spring, adapter, and EM pad. Now we'll see repair of bogey side frame, a spring plank, and wedge block. First of all, side frame is cleaned with coconut broom and wire brace. Then those areas are checked for crack. Those are uh, which get more stresses, and there are more chances of crack there. Dye penetrant test. This is the test to check for cracks in the side frame. Uh, this test basically uh, work on the principle of capillary action, where low surface tension fluids penetrate into clean and dry surface, breaking discontinuities. Table shows the components with its wear limit. The component must be in its wear limit. Otherwise, it must be changed. Repair meant to be done in the side frame. The silicon magnesium liner of side frame is to be replaced if they reduce from 16 mm to 6, 10 mm to 6 mm. If the liner is cracked or broken, then it also changed. Sometimes liners are missing, then a new is welded. Brake beam pocket liner are also changed in case of crack, brake, wear, and sometimes missing. In Jamalpur workshop, it is always changed. Liner of pedestal jaw is changed if worn out. In Jamalpur workshop, all jaws are changed. Liner of pedestal crying is also changed. The first figure shows pedestal jaw liner which is replaced. The second figure shows a replaced column liner. 
the third figure shows cleaning of cleaning of liner after welding a spring plank a spring plank is a member made of mild steel it joins two side frames of kasna bogie through rivets and pit bolts to keep bogie frame square a spring plank should be examined for defects like loosening of rivet crack bending welding failures of a spring spigot etc the figure shows new rivet rivets are done on the spring plank in case of crack and bending a spring plank is condemned the video shows how riveting is done in jamalpur workshop it is the uh, first the rivet is heated then it is pushed through the riveting machine wedge block friction so wedges are heated on slumber spring its vertical surface is with uh, in contact with the side frame and slope surface is in contact with bolster pocket liners its vertical surface length is uh, 7 mm slope surface is 3 mm after measurement if found higher wear than given then wedge block is condemned otherwise reused after cleaning wear prone area in wedge block wedge block vertical surface is one which is wear prone and the other surface is the slope surface which is wear prone now we will see pos of bolster a separate check sheet is prepared for the bolster because bolster is a very important part of the kasna bogie defects to be checked in bolster cracks in central pivot or cut side bearing housing bolster land surface distance rotation stop lug distance upper jib distance inner jib distance cracks in bolster body the figure shows different defects arising in bolster the first figure shows central cut in central pivot housing the second figure shows side bearing housing uh, loosening of side bearer housing the third figure shows crack in bolster some measurement in bolster the first figure shows fitment of central pivot hole the second figure shows measurement of land surface of bolster the third the third figure shows measurement of wear on vertical surface of central pivot repairs to be done in bolster central pivot cracks are welded central pivot vertical side are welded if a small defect are there otherwise changed bolster pocket line is changed it is 100% replaceable that is every pocket liner is replaced bolster inner jib liner is changed in every bolster the figure shows a replaced pocket liner and inner jib liner the video shows leveling of central pivot by grinding when welding of central pivot uh, face is done then the surface got rough so it is a smoothen by grinding the figure shows is manipulator this is to be used for faster work but as workers are not familiar with it so they work better with better manually so in jamalpur workshop it is not used adapter following are the parts of the adapter which has a working limit which must be satisfied adapter thrust solder adapter crown lug adapter crown seat adapter side lug adapter sides if the length limit is not satisfied then the adapter is defective and it must be replaced with a new one going are the components of an adapter with its limit of length 
following conditions shall render the adapters to be scrapped or replaced first cracked or broken at any location second wrapped or twisted or otherwise distorted third when uniform wear bend or the outer cup is not observed where adapter seats and signing marks are seen on the wear bend area fourth worn to the extent that ridges or grooves prevent the proper seating of the adapter on the bearing elastomeric pads elastomeric pads are provided in all various versions of kasnap bogey except kasnap 22w the main purpose of providing elastomeric pad is to reduce wheel flange wear elastomeric pads shall be condemned or replaced by new one on the following grounds if the top of of the bottom plates or immediate plates in case of side wearer pad shows any crack in service if any crack of more than 50 mm is developed at any surface of rubber if a bond failure giving way more than 40 mm in any direction is developed in service if any sign of crushing of rubber is noticed new em pad is bought bought from private companies licensed by art dso and elastomeric pads are not repaired either they are changed or it is used as it is pos of a spring a spring taken from the bogey is cleaned with wire brush and coconut glue a spring is checked of crack broken visually or with magnified glasses if found then condemn condemn condemnated eccentric city test is also done on a spring height group then the height grouping of a spring is done after the clad clad coding is done so that a spring of same group should be used in a single bogey because a spring of the same group have almost the same height table shows length range of different spring in different color group for hs and non hs springs the table shows conditional length for condemnation of a spring if the spring length do not come in the working range of the spring length then it is condemnated the table shows is the grouping table of a spring all spring are, are grouped on this table according to the color in which they fit if the spring comes to the right of the red spot then it is condemnated for every spring the same process is followed repair of bogey brake gear the worn out brake heads are removed by gas cutting the new brake heads is installed it correct correct position with brake beam the worn out liners are replaced boots are checked if worn out or missing in that case new boots is fitted in case of tapering of brake beam or any major defect brake beam is detached from the side frame assembly and then repaired the figure shows the repairment of brake beam system the first figure shows the riveted Rebeating done for the uh, to hold brake beam clip. The second figure shows new boost is welded in the brake beam. The first figure shows brake shoes shoe liner is welded in brake beam. After repairment of bogey frame assembly, trimming is at last done. Basically, trimming is done so that a squareness of bogey frame is maintained. it is carried out using a trammel gauge which length is 3018 plus minus 4.5 mm as per the technical paper g95 if it is not okay then lower plank is heated it if heating does not work then the plank is cut out in the trammeling of bogey all the diagonal length and the length along the side is measured and ensured that it is of a, a square nature if it not so then it is repaired painting after repairment first cleaning is done 
then double coating of primer is done after that paint is applied then the finishing is done eight final assembly is done all the five parts from the five different sections are taken out and all are assembled and at final the bogie is lowered on the wheel and then the graphite powder is applied on the uh, central pivot so this was the poh of kasna bogie as done in jamalpur workshop thank you